All right, so NCSoft actually released their quarterly earnings for the first part of 2020. A lot of really great information on here to discuss with you guys, so uh, let's talk about it. First, let's talk about the mobile games. So mobile game is really king for NCSoft. It's actually insane how much money they make off the mobile games compared to the PC games they have. Basically, they made 553 billion Korean dollars in the first part of 2020 off only two mobile games, both from the Lineage series. Now, when we compare how much they made with the PC titles, they made a total of 113 billion Korean dollars. Now, this is off various PC titles combined compared to only two mobile games they have listed here, made over 400 billion dollars more. <laughs> this is why their focus is so heavy on mobile games now. And it's actually kind of surprising why they even keep their PC games running when probably they could release a bunch more mobile titles and just, just keep it going. Just release like a bunch more and just keep that money flowing in because at this point, it's just absurd how much more money they make off these mobile titles compared to PC. I've heard a lot of people saying that Korean people over there don't really have PCs and so a lot of people just play off their phones because everyone has a cell phone or at least most people don't have a PC setup so that might be why the culture is like that but it's just really surprising to see like how much the difference is. It's not even close at all. But uh, let's look at the breakdown of some of the games. So we have Lineage right here, Lineage 2, then Ion, Blade and Soul, and Guild Wars 2. So this is for the first quarter of 2020. So basically right here, Lineage and Lineage 2 are doing very, very good, mostly from Korea. And I think Russia actually has a really strong player base for Lineage 2. I always see the Twitch streamers, like they have like over a thousand views and they're all like Russian players. I don't know why it does so well over there, uh, but not really good over in the West, at least they don't really do too well. But then we have Ion. Now Ion has been uh, kind of struggling for a while now, actually had a pretty big decrease and then it went up by 2 million. So this is actually pretty good, 10 million. Um, and then we have Blaine Soul. Now I can't speak for all the regions, but I know for the West from the third quarter of 2019 to the fourth quarter of why the decrease was so big from 21 million to 17 million was because for the West, at least, the Archer patch was such a mess and that's when it came out. That was probably one of the worst patches we've ever gotten. There's so many issues that they put into the game. Like all these new buds they introduced when they put out the patch, all the dungeons were broken because they tried to make like easy mode. It, it was a really bad time and I covered it. Everyone covered it that made YouTube content. It was it's really bad for Blaine Soul. And it was even worse because they put out the Archer class, which was supposed to be a really big patch for the game, but they ruined it because they could have put out a polished patch and it really just kind of broke the game for like a full month. It was really terrible, a really bad patch, that's for sure. So that was really bad for the West. As far as the other regions, I'm not really sure, but it was a really big decrease for Blaine Soul in terms of profit. So they did do an increase of 2 million, so now they're at 19 million for Blaine Soul. So actually a pretty nice increase, but still is in the decline, that's for sure, over the years. Uh, hopefully Blaine Soul can keep going. At least it is one of their best selling uh, PC tiles that they have, so I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. One of the things I always see people mention is that Blaine Soul is going to close very soon. The game's completely dead. It's going to end within the next couple months or weeks. That's always the thing I see. My example is that I always say if Ion has not closed yet, Blaine Soul is not going anywhere. If their worst performing PC title is still running, even if it's in like maintenance mode or not doing too well, if it's still running, Blaine Soul is not going to get shut down before that when it's making way more money than that. So that's my example. And when Ion closes, and it will eventually because it's not doing too hot, when that closes, then you can be worried and be like, okay, maybe Blaine Soul is going to shut down in six to seven months after that. But for right now, Blaine Soul is not going anywhere, so I would just not worry too much about that. Um, even though it is NCSoft and they put out a lot of really terrible patches and it could keep hurting the game, uh, but hopefully they try to turn that around and maybe Unreal Engine 4 will come out, maybe if it still exists, I don't know, complete radio silence right now. But, uh, you know, right now I wouldn't be too worried. It's not going to shut down in the next month or two. You can uh, still play Blade and Soul and not worry that much. Uh, last thing is Guild Wars 2. Now, they're not doing too hot either. They had a pretty sharp decline like Blade and Soul from the third quarter of 2019 uh, to the fourth quarter. But honestly, really, I can't attribute that uh, because Guild Wars 2 hasn't had a really big expansion in a couple of years now. And I think that's really kind of the reason why there hasn't been a big influx of cash flowed into the game. Because the game, honestly, is kind of free to play. Like, you can play up to, like, level 70 or 80 and enjoy all that content. I think it's, like, 80 or something. I'm not entirely sure. And then you can buy the expansions later on. But really, a lot of the game is actually free to play. And there isn't really too much, like, pay to win in it or anything. So they're not having the mega whales that Blaine Soul has. So I think all these really chippy to why Guild Wars 2 is not doing too well financially. Uh, I do feel like they have a pretty healthy population though, 
And uh, hopefully they release another big expansion for the game so the profits can go up pretty soon. But that's really all the information here. It's just kind of crazy how insignificant their uh, profit is from the PC games compared to the mobile. I mean, they could literally shut down every PC game on here and still be perfectly fine. <laughs> just off these two mobile titles is actually just crazy. I don't really see uh, why it's so fun. I mean, I played a bunch of mobile games and I didn't really like any of them. Even Black Desert Mobile, I didn't find that fun. But, you know, obviously a lot of people disagree with me. I wish they would actually have more profit from the PC games because what's going to end up happening is you're going to be stopping a lot of production on PC games and focusing more on mobile games over time, over the years. And this is kind of a shame, honestly, because I really love a lot of their PC games. And uh, it seems like that's not going to be really their focus for that long, as we've even heard reports of NCSoft taking a lot of their PC workers and having them shift over to uh, mobile game teams to work on more mobile games. And that's actually something that's been announced and been talked about in the past couple of months. So uh, really a shame there. So I wish their PC games would do better, but uh, that mobile market is crazy. But anyways, that's really the video for me. Leave a like if you liked the video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I appreciate the support.